listen Guess who's here for OG's a wrestling Ain't no competition, we report, you gon' listen Never no mercy, we bring the ring to the streets If you don't know, you better find out off the ropes Here to prove a point, number one in the league Bet you don't wanna tussle with us Nowhere to hide or run, step in the ring You're done, you're never stepping out again So you're back on the wolf pack Off the roof, representing at 617 area So you're back on the wolf pack no other podcast out here in more scary yeah. Talk to your back on the wolf pack Wrestling entertainment no reported by the bears So to your back on the wolf pack You might wind up in a body bag you Took your chances, now it's time to show you what's on In a ring off the ropes, that's the lead that we strong Day in, day out, off the ropes for life Shit's near e this fast crew on the mic In town, be the city where we make our own rules Stomping no, you can't fit our shoes off the ropes, so crowd pleaser, conquering like Caesar, leaning us like pizza when you need your wrestling re up. So you're back on the wolf pack. Off the ropes, representing at 617 area. So to your back on the wolf pack. No other podcast out here in more scary. So to your back on the wolf pack. Wrestling entertainment was reported by the band. So to your back on the wolf pack. You might wind up in a body bag. They wanted it. We got it. And this is After Dark, um, the roast of former OTTR members. <laughs> this is some for shit sick giggles. So if you guys get offended, uh, gross them all. Yeah, <laughs> all right. I'll go fast. I know you got a lot to, uh, I know, I know, I know you, especially E Dude's got a lot to spit. So, um, <laughs> This is it. Go. Come on. Y'all wanted it. You wanted this. You wanted it. You, been, you, you didn't get the chance to say anything because you was kicked out for being fat. So go ahead. <laughs> uh, who, are we talking about old numbers? Like, uh, yes. Yeah. yes. The no neck monster himself. Yes. Cool. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, the monkey who was an eight? Yes, the plan of the <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we're talking about that as well. <laughs> so this is listen. You better think. You better think. Uncle Fast for this. <laughs> listen. All right. What? All right. I'll I'll be honest here. When when the monkey was eight came on the show, I was I was a quiet. I was quiet. Legit, y'all can go look at the tapes, everybody. I was quiet. It is no damn tapes. <laughs> and y'all we want if you wanted it back when he was on the show. Uh, it was the same up the bro, no bullshit. I kinda felt like Duke was kinda pissed at him. Um I felt a little tension over the phone because <laughs> we Duke said something. And when Kendall would come on, bro, he would not say nothing. So I don't know if it was conflict or fat or because the breathing <laughs> was kinda magical. <laughs> You know, you couldn't. We didn't know who was breathing what, bro. Between it was like two tornadoes and an earthquake, kind of going at it over the. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Here we go. Oh my god! Uh, nah, it wasn't that. It was just like, all right, I want y'all to let the little. I want y'all to let him shine for a little bit. The next, you know, once you y'all come at me, it was I ain't say nothing, but he came at me. Then when I finally saw him, I was like. How dare he come at me when he had a mustache? <laughs> <laughs> how dare oh, you? No. Oh. How dare you? Oh, Lord. Bring me somebody who had a mustache. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Dude's had a mustache. I bro. But I'll point this at, at least give me somebody who had a mustache. Like with at least a goatee for that matter, damn it! Like I, I, want this. I was going, it was like I was going this big baby Huey, no bull. This dude, this dude excuse me. <laughs> I had to stop myself for a second. Wait, wait, hold on. What? Big baby Huey. No, no, no. Duke, you're giving him too much credit. Baby Huey actually looked like something. This motherfucker. Oh. 
Listen, Whatever. listen. This dude was sitting in the goddamn light, okay? He didn't want to turn on his damn light to show his face. I had, had to talk him into it for a half an hour. And y'all seen that damn vert, and, 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 and y'all was there for that damn uh, Facebook phone call. You all questioned this shit, okay? So let's not dig too deep into this, because I had to call him out on it right there, there on the damn spot. I'm like, yo, bro, do you like like live like a shelter? Like why you why you sitting there with the light off? Like, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that makes no sense. A majority of us was underneath light. You see me with my fucking receding hairline and my do rat on top of my damn head, of course. Um fucking E Deuce's lazy fucking third eye. <laughs> <laughs> cyber cyber over here is looking damn lost. Mike is over here looking puzzled as fuck. And Uncle Fast is just Uncle Fast. You damn okay. right, baby. But, like but by that token, by that token, okay, I just felt like he had insecurity problems because of his weight and because of what he looked like. Okay, he looked like the male version of Precious. Period. No, no, there's no, no. Bar, I mean, there's bar none to this shit. Okay, Miss Fuchsia. No, not Miss Fuchsia. Not from the Little Mermaid. I know who the hell are you talking about. No, I think you're talking about from Norbit. Yes. The oh, Lord of the Lord. Nah. Give him props, bro. We're not, no. No, 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 no. I don't think so either. Right. I'm on Uncle Fats' side with this one. No, I don't think so. That was precious all the way, bro, with no steroids. Thank you. Because <laughs> <laughs> precious had no neck either. Yeah, she, she, but she had a neck, though. Yeah, she had I, a neck. after she lost the weight. Oh, she had the surgery, bro? No, she lost that way naturally, B. Oh, that's what that, Yeah, man. That's like a couple years back. Oh, see, I got to look at her now, bro. I got to mm-hmm. see what she looks like that. Yeah, so, um... Yeah, so... Yeah. That not, yeah, so that nonsense kind of came into play. Like, holy shit, you know? But anyway, just... I think he just had insecurity problems. Period. So I began, he told him, he was like, bro, we're all men in this group. He was like, no one's here out to judge you. Like, just turn the fucking light on, bro. I, I can see the frustration in Cyber Yeti's face. Like, yo, bro, you're a grown-ass man. And you're acting like, because I can tell Cyber Yeti really wanted to call him a bitch. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, come on, man. Like, God, you little bitch. Like, <laughs> come on, you little bitch. Show your face. Oh, show us what you really are. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm going to hell for that one. <laughs> he gave, he gave oh, the snap. And then when he turned on the light, I wanted to say, you okay, you know how you watch those movies and when somebody sees something crazy, like, ah, in the background, it was like, when you turn the light on, this dude. <laughs> Yeah, that's like, really... You ugly, motherfucker. You ugly. Just, just want a motherfucker. Uh, 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 you ain't got no alibi. You ugly. Well, well no. you ugly. No, I'm trying to figure out why lie or everything. Why lie about the only things? Why lie about I? I what? What was it? Like he, he dates older women. If he has an OnlyFans page, then I'm doing something wrong with my life. If he gets money from the OnlyFans <laughs> okay. it's like he's like money. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Something's wrong something with me. I don't, I, don't, I don't consider myself the, 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 finest, the finest tool or the finest knife in the book, but I know for a fact that I am sexy as shit. And that motherfucking Kendall... It's like a, a two piece that fell on the floor that you didn't wipe <laughs> off and, 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 and you just trying to eat it together again and it just ain't working out. He like, is the big shit thing that a dog will leave and you actually step on it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that yeah, that stinks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh god. Oh uh, so anybody else got anything else to say about this fat fuck? <laughs> Wait, hold up. I'm surprised he, yo. Yes, I had to say fact fuck because you actually, actually, you actually pissed me off. <laughs> and let me not go too deep into that because I can go on forever in the fucking day about this motherfucker. But nonetheless, 
Yo, yo, I'm like this. We all men. We all made. We all men. Out he's here. not man. He's still a bitch ass, pussy ass, punk bitch. Okay. He still got his block. <laughs> wait, wait. Talk about, I'm talking about. I'm talking about for no. the podcast right now. We all men. But that dude right there. It's a bitch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a it's a purified, bullfied, half-ass, moist ass bitch. <laughs> no, no, he's a cupcake. That's what I think it. That's a what I think it was. <laughs> no, yeah. game over. We're done here. <laughs> <laughs> a moist cupcake. cupcake is more solid than than Kendall, bro. He's like he's like peanut butter fluff, bro, without the fluff. So he's you nothing but the uh, so he's nothing but the 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 Nutella chocolate, then, right? Yeah, he's soft as baby shit, bro. He's like, he's like. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How about those chocolate chip cookies? The soft chocolate chip cookies that just come out of the oven. No, nah, this, this is hard for him, bro. No, this is a George eating a half bin nougat out of a trash can. Oh, how about that? Shots really fired. <laughs> yo, yo, like the only thing that. Really gets me is like yo, how does this dude really sit here and say like yo, I'm gonna make a bet. I'm gonna make a bet. When he found out, when he found the actual truth about it, is and said I'll give y'all on what cash at, and don't pay the motherfucker back. I'm still trying to figure that shit out. He is my thing. No, he trying to make you do the running around while he got to do something or go to Walmart. Walmart I'm like, wait, thing, why the dude. fuck does he got to go to Walmart to receive money from you? But his, because his, he's, on this, he's in he wherever he's in, they don't have like Western unions and check cash in places like we have. They got to go to a Walmart. And they have PLSs. Money. Not down in, in case clothes on that one. <laughs> oh, where he's at, they have PLSs? They got to. PLSs are everywhere, too. No, it's everywhere, but PLS is also associated with Western Union, bro. Well, so well, if, you, if, you, if, you can't, if you can't if you can't get to a Western Union, you got a PLS, you can use the money to transfer through Western Union, and you can go to a place where, rest of, where, uh, where you can transfer money and receive money, like a Walmart. Or a target or something like that because normally that's how people send money. But they don't have that normally in, in, in outskirts and shit like that. Where but, it's probably where he's at, they probably don't have a huge population anyways. But go fast. Um, yo, yo, I'm part of this cause I'm part. He sat there and said, "I'm a cash app you." Send me a cash app name. This is all putting down in a group bubble, and he said it on recording. By the way, no, I, I'm not. I'm not denying that. But what I'm saying is that, regardless, so, regardless, like he lied. He lied. Regardless, but <laughs> I know in some states, some states don't have PLS, but because some places do, they still associate with Western Union. So, like for instance, my uncle's in Delaware, right? So if I needed him to send me money, he would have to go to a Walmart to send to Western Union, and I can go to any PLS. Or Western Union up here and collect the money. So, him going to Walmart is an actual okay, statement. Someone gave their free card for my best shaking. <laughs> but him actually paying for that bet is some bullshit. So, but in my eyes, I kind of felt like he was doing it to kind of fit in real quick instead of just being himself. You understand? When he came in, he was a young guy, he was running his mouth, trying to say everything, didn't really know how. The format went. So it was like, if I could get in, make some jokes, say some shit, I could be one of the boys. And then he kind of overdid it with himself. He kind of fucked himself over and then started making bets that his ass getting catch. So it's like, bro, like, you can't do that. If we was all in the same hood, bro, I'd have been knocking on your door, whooping your ass, kicking your lunch with me. <laughs> I would too. That's why I'm like, yo, don't make me take the fight down there to the fuck that and then and say, try to find where the fuck are you at. Shit, I'll be you know, like, I'll probably ask your front door, like, yo, but UPS. But the craziest thing about this dude is, is like, yo, how, why would you talk trash? And he came back it up because he's young, bro. We all said it. He's young minded, right? He's probably never been. 
He's probably never been been part of a group. He he, that he even so said that too. He he was a, he was a, I haven't been in a group like how y'all talk to each other and shit like that. It's just that's how I had to bring it down to a man earlier. I'm like, yo, half of these people I know based off of, based on my friendship with them since high school. The other ones, one of them is you see me, one of Deuce's cousin. The other one is a friend. Of a friend of a friend, and then I have recruited Mike in um a uh, Mike and Cyber myself. Shit, and then matter of fact, wait, 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 fast. Matter of fact, wait, wait, fast. Matter of fact, let me ask y'all two this question, right? When y'all first came here, how did y'all felt? What do you mean? Like, the same way how we just said how everyone's first first time coming up here, it was kind of like shy because they didn't want to like you know. Saying the derogatory and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, How did you guys feel when y'all first came on the show? I can't speak for, with us. I can't speak for Cyber, but for me, like that first one I went, yeah, it was kind. Of, I was kind of feeling y'all out, trying to see like, all right, all right, let me see how this gonna rock. Let me see how y'all get down. Like, you know, I'm I'm trying to figure it out. Like, I'm I'm not gonna come in here and just off the rip start saying, yo, you're a fat piece of shit. Like, I don't know y'all like that. Like, like. So like it's, it's it was a feeling out process. I think I did. I think my first intake when I came in, I came in blazing. Came in. <laughs> I, I I said what I had to say. I had no fear. I I warned Duke because I've been wanting to do a podcast like this for a long time. When he told me, I was like, "Yo, you got to put me on." I was like, "I was begging." I was like, "Yo, bro, I kept forcing it. Make sure you tell your boy." That I want to be a part of it and tell him that I'm coming after that that dude that likes Jinder Mahal. No, no, bull. You ain't just say that. Yeah, I'm, and then no. I'm like, I'm like, mm, and then when Deuce told me that, I'm like, hmm. I had to go and, and talk to Young Bluff for a second. I'm like, yo, how do you think this is gonna play out? And he was like, and I quote, I think after the first meeting with Uncle Fast, I think that was when we was like. Mm, he's gonna come. I'm like, he's uh, he's gonna come for, he's gonna come for not only his cousin's neck, but he's gonna come for anyone else's neck. So you might have to protect your shit too. <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool, right. man. Like he's that. Absolutely right. That's how I took it because it wasn't like it. I wasn't. My intent wasn't to come and take over. My intent was to add a a a a, a different side and a different light to it, but more on a charismatic type, like. Everybody, uh, when I came in, everybody that was there, when I first came in, was the core. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not going to lie to you. One person that I truly miss is Youngblood. Me too. I'm not going to lie to you. Me too. Yeah. Because how he presented himself and his and his responses was so captivating and so classic. It was like, dude, and his rant would be so educational. You'd be like, holy shit, dude, I didn't even think of that. And that was the beauty behind it. And that's what made it so comfortable for me because once he spoke, then then Blackheart would say something, Dukes would say something, and I would purposely be laughed because I knew Karu was going <laughs> to say something stupid. Even though he would respond in, in a respectful way and give his input, he would always go back to his 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 his, his, his uh, gender mahal, iconic and shit like that. So I would feed off of everybody and then give my perception. I never wanted to come in blazing and just be like, I'm the shit. No, I wanted to be the old guy that came in that listened, gave my input, but I'm going to challenge your fucking mind. I'm going to really put your balls to the test and see whether or not if you're going to clap back at me so we can make this fun. And you see so why that the argument that we had earlier today signifies that. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. That's, for me personally, I remember first first episode I was on. And um it was it was um behind it it was um that dark episode of um New Jack. It was me shit it was me you it was me you shit and um young blood. And we did the after he's did the whole tight episode of Young Blood. I mean the whole tight episode of New Jack. Then we just did like um was I think like a, a I think it was like it was a a raw um like show and whatnot. We 
And, and after that, I was like, yo, this feels mad comfortable. But I killed y'all with that. I was like, yo, thank, thank y'all for listening. Um, thank you for sharing me. Um, Jordan's. Um, <laughs> Um, oh no! <laughs> 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 ah, you said. <laughs> yo, when I when I did that, yo, and I heard everybody straight up laughing. I was like, "Yep, that was it." <laughs> like, this thing should be this thing should be fun for everybody, and I hope it is. And, and I just want to say publicly, if I offended anybody in any way, and they didn't say nothing, I apologize. But that's never my intent. I know sometimes I can say shit and I can feel y'all heads and y'all energy pipe. Like, what the fuck did this fat fuck just say? I can't believe it. But you know what? This is this is what gets the views. You gotta have someone that play that's 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 a mutual uh, person that you love and kind of hate at the same time. And I'm that kind of individual. You either gonna love me or you're gonna love to hate me. But you're gonna respect what the fuck I gotta say. Because what I say, it, it, it is true. I think since I've been on the show, I've, I've been corrected and, I, and I've had some knowledge spit on me through you guys and the guys uh, that were here before Mike and Sarayeti joined. And with that, I, I kind of felt like my, my presentation and my predictions kind of fell through. I think I kind of shocked myself with some of this shit that I I literally was feeling and, and saying on the shows. And I listened to some of the shows that I've done, and I ain't going to lie, I died laughing. I died laughing. Like, this shit is funny as hell. It's like a bunch of boys that's part of a fraternity that just spills their guts out. Don't give a fuck. You can sit around and just drink beers and laugh or, or, or smoke weed or whatever. I think this shit would be even more comical. But it'll get there. Because this shit is funny as hell. And we'll be honest with you, by the time they start letting everybody fully back into these arenas, OTTR is going to be ringing some fucking bells, bro. I mean, we're ringing bells now. But that's going to be a name, bro. That's going to be like... Okay, we, we're going to have to see what this hype really is about. And trust me, they ain't going to be disappointed. Because if I meet a fucking wrestler that I don't like, oh, yeah, it's on. It's definitely on. I don't, I don't, think, that's a, I don't think that's a shock to, to anybody. <laughs> yeah, I, need, I need to come off the top rope off of somebody, bro. No bullshit. No bullshit. No this bullshit. sounds like I a Brock Lesnar, Big Show, Superplex off the top, and the ring breaks. <laughs> nah, actually, no bullshit. You know what I always wanted to do? There's there's a couple of moves that I literally wanted to do as a wrestler. The John Bradshaw Layfield uh, Lariat, that was one of them. Oh, uh, cold off from hell. Um, I wanted to do the Jake the Snake Roberts DDT because of my height. And there's two submission holes. The the shop shooter and the cripple crosses. That's it. Other than that, I have other creative moves and shit that I could throw, but those would be my signature fucking moves. And if I'm coming off the top rope, it's either the diving headbutt or I'm dropping that macho man, oh yeah, fuck it to your face, elbow, and I'm getting the one through three peasy. And if you hit me with a chair, I'm going to look at you, call you a bitch, and then I'm going to close on the fuck out of you. You remember Brock Lesnar in that 2001 uh, Raw vs. SmackDown? Where um, you, uh, I think you like you hit up in like X, and then you would hit him, and then he would shrug his shoulders, uh, and then the, yeah. uh, close on the fuck out You guys should remember yeah. that combination? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my so god! I think that was up square, bro. No, it's up and X. I don't think it was. Uh, I think it was up and X. Wasn't X supposed to be the grapple button? No, it wasn't a strong because square is a uh, uh, a strong grapple. X X is the uh, is the normal grapple. Hmm. PlayStation Two control format. Yeah, no, actually, no. Matter of fact, you're right. I had to I had to remember that 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 feeling for that controller again. Oh, so mm-hmm. long. 
told you. So it's like for me, it was like, bro, I, my 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 hopes and dreams are aspirate, uh, aspirations of stepping in the ring. It has not it has not diminished, bro. And I feel like me being on here and helping out, it, it, bro, that can happen. Who says it can't? I'm ready to meet some wrestlers and look at them toe to toe, like, and they're like, "Oh, you're a big boy," and I'm like, "You want to you want to give that a whirl? How about you chop my chest and let me chop yours and see what happens?" I would probably Before die if I had this happen to me, but I would love. I, I wouldn't say love. I would like to try to see if I could take a chop from Walter. Oh, oh. I just that just made my chest hurt thinking about that shit. I pat yo, I I'm scared for you. Nah. <laughs> I'm scared damn, for you, nah. bro. I wouldn't. God damn it, man. <laughs> shit. You, would you take would you take okay, so okay, if you had uh, any choice of taking a a, 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 a chest a chest slap, who would it be? Walter? Uh, Ric Flair or Big Show? Ooh. What about Andre the Giant? I don't want to die. No. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I. I think hey, I what you mean? So nope. wait, so you want your chest to be this Mega Man like Kobe Kings? Exactly. Kinsis? I'm, I'm gonna have to let Nate get off. No, I would. Right, I was right. I would say Ric Flair is sharp, <laughs> then a big, a, a bigger, massier person to do an actual. Flat head chopped to my chest. No thanks. My heart would probably no, stop. I would want to take one. <laughs> if if I had to pick between those three, yes, I said I would. I would like to take a chop from Walter. But if I had to pick only one, I would have to pick Ric Flair. In his prime. In his prime. Okay. Even in his prime, I uh, nah. I'm not messing with them other two. Nah. All right. You know what? Y'all scared pussies. I'm going for Big Show. No, you ain't. Man, that might... Oh, no, you ain't. You probably were shit in your underwear by the time when that thing actually hit the first Dude, layer. You probably would be buckling down, rolling on the floor, burning, on fire, sweating. Oh, my God, I can't breathe. He would, he would go He would go from man titties to flat chest in like 2.5 seconds. I'm telling nah, you, man, he was shit in his underwear. <laughs> Them, them, them titties will go straight to his ass, bro. It'd be, it'd be a cosmetic surgery. Oh, Lord. Uh, <laughs> and they'd be like, I haven't seen titties before. They went, bro. They left. Oh. They left, bro. Now, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Right hand punch. Undertaker's. Roman Reigns. Or who? Or Umaga. Umaga. Take her. Yeah. Take her. Mm-hmm. I guess I'll go with takers too. I think take her. Roman looked like he hit hard. Bro, did you forget what take it did to Kurt Angle? Yeah. You get that right he caught him with. I think it was like 2005, 2006 when he was the badass. He had him in the corner. And he caught off fucked her angle so bad he knocked him out. Mm. Mm. Damn. All right. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let me ask y'all. All right, since we're going to ask some questions there. All right. Who... Mm. Who you want to deal with? Who will give you the best super kick? What what super kick you want to take? Yeah, Shawn from. Michaels. Say, oh, Michael. You gotta put Shawn in it, man. What? Wait, 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 wait. The Usos? No. Adam hey, Cole. Hey. Or the young bucks. See, you just try to have people do two. You try to have people do two sweet chin music at the same time. That's not fair. Nah, I would. I would go Shawn Michaels, Dolph Ziggler, 
or um, or um, Adam Cole. Actually, no, no, fuck Adam Cole. Stevie Richards. Yeah. Oh. He had a good one. Yeah, he had a good one. Had a... I forgot about Stevie Richards' super kicks. Stevie Richards, Dolph Ziggler, or Shawn Michaels. Shawn super Michaels. Shawn. Mm. Shawn Michaels hit you with a super kick. You already know your head speed kick, clean it off. The sale of the show of Benjamin. I think I think I think part of the reason why people is picking Shawn Michaels because Shawn Michaels kind of he perfected to the point where he can he'll he'll throw that shit out of nowhere. Are you coming off the top rope, sorry shout to Benjamin, but you caught it. Sorry, Carlito, you caught it. Like Yeah. Well, what, I, I, all right, all right, which version of a stutter you, do you want to deal with? Next. Wait, no, wait, ain't no, wait, wait, wait. Ain't going to be no three choices. Or, There's only going to be two. Randy or Randy no, Orton. It's not considered a stunner. Or, I'm it's say. not considered a fucking stunner, my nigga. Excuse me for the bad word. That's more of a diamond cutter. No, you would have to go with Stone Cold Mikey Whitrack. Or KO. Austin. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Take out KO. Austin. Actually, you know what? Let's put it this way. Austin's number one, so take out Austin. How about KO, Disco Inferno, or Mikey Whitrap? Disco. Mm. I'm still sticking with Austin. Austin. No, no, take out Austin. I said take out Austin. Take out Austin, you got no choice. Disco. Yeah, yeah, I'm automatically disqualified because I'm not answering that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sticking with my word. I'm sticking I'm sticking to my gun. So if he's not part of that category, then I don't care for this stuff. Okay. I got okay, I got one. I got okay, I got a good one for you guys. Oh, no. Right? <laughs> Nope. Oh, oh, no. No. I can smell it. <laughs> I smell something coming in that I'm not going to laugh at. <laughs> oh, no, listen, listen. And, uh, this, this is a good one. And I want you to describe hard before, long and hard before you answer. Survivor Series. Okay? If you had to pick your team all time, right? All time in the past. 15 years, right? To be on your survivors team from WWE, ECW, and WCW. See, ECW was even around for 15 years. I said in the past past 15 years. (sighs) So you have WWE, ECW and WCW, who would be your captain? And then after that, who would be your four? Supporting four of the captain. Now you got to think about who you pick it and who you feel that would make that team legit. I mean, see, listen, man, my guy going to do homework, man. Like, you got him thinking that he, you know, say he's already preoccupied. I would. <laughs> All right, I oh, no. I mean, I feel like okay. You have to have for me that 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 super Cena would have to be the captain. I would let Cena run the team, even though I don't rock with him like that. But he never loses, so how he has to be on the team. So I put Cena on the team. Roman very rarely loses. Uh, Randy Orton's Mister Survivor Series, and then give me, give me, uh, give me Goldberg and uh, Diamond Dallas Page. I'm good. Let's rock. Let's rock. That's six. That's six. That's six. 
Yeah, that's get, Goldberg's that's ass, get Goldberg's ass out of here. Let, yeah. me, I'm rocking with DDP. Right, let's go. Let's go. Because I got Rome. So I'm let's let's go. Okay, All okay. Right. For me, hold on, so right. you said so you said, right. you said Cena. You said hold on, you said Cena, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton. Cena yeah. Uh D- Cena, Roman, Randy, yeah. DDP, and um that's that's four. That's what I thought Goldberg was five. Yeah, that's five. Uh, yeah, I, I y'all said it was six. I thought I gave six. Uh, you said that. I don't know her. No, you know, Survivor Series I'm people good. is normally supposed to be a five on five. Yeah, you five know what I'm saying, sir? Yeah, it's like five on five. five basketball. I never heard a six on six basketball <laughs> game. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, heard about big three, but I ain't heard about a six on six. So yeah, so that's that's my give me my five and we go up against the world. Let's All go. right. So so for me, uh, this is how got... mine would work out. My team kept my team captain oh, would boy. be the Undertaker. Not not the current one. I'm talking about American Badass Undertaker. Then my four, okay. it would have to be Shawn Michaels. It would have to be Randy Orton as the as the second one, and then I would want someone that could be pulling off the high flying moves and everything else. I'm not going Jeff Hardy. I'm going RVD. And then for the final one, I'm gonna have to go with CM Punk. Wow! I see. I think All my right. team's too big for your team, bro. I, I'm sorry. Okay. My team's too right, big. Mm, no. No. Mm. All right. Yo, that's fighting words right. in my blood, boys. So, uh, stop scrapping. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Um, my three. Uh, my, my, my Survivor Series team. I have CM Punk as my team captain. Mm. Kurt Angle. Mm-hmm. Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> ben Wall. And you know what? Since y'all want to have a monster on your teams, you know, I'll bring a monster too. I'm bringing Brock. Mm. Ooh. Not bad. So. Hold on. Which Brock, though? Which Brock? Hold on. Which Brock was it? The first Brock Lesnar. Huh. We first came in. That savvy. Okay. Guess that leaves me, huh? Okay. <laughs> you know, I got to put Stone Cold Steve Austin as my team captain. Bring me down on next. <laughs> I put Austin as my team captain. Um... The Austin I probably wouldn't have been thinking of. I think I probably been thinking of. Hmm. Nineteen ninety eight Austin, the very hot Austin, the Austin that was basically the most bulletproof guy in wrestling industry within that time period. He was red hot fire. That would definitely be my team captain first and foremost. Um, second. I got to go with new school with this one. I got to give it to Cesaro. I need that stability. I need that durability. I need that conditioning to survive. Tag out when tag out when necessary. Build him up to come back in later. You know what I'm saying? He can be that, that dual working machine, that worker, the real worker's machine when it comes to him. Um, high flyers. Of course, everyone got to have a high flyer on this squad. But my high fly is going to be a little bit different from y'all's. And I don't know for what reason that I thought about him, but he stood out to me a little bit. I got, I will really would have to throw in, um, what's his face? Damn it, he's just on the tip of my damn head. And then I was just looking at his picture earlier, too. Um, well, I'm going to come back to that fly, uh, to that high fly one. Um, Give me Kurt Angle from 2006, the wrestling machine, as my number three. 
don't know whoever <laughs> puffed and puffed on that one, but you can blow that whole shit down for all the fuck that I know of. <laughs> um, of course I can't. Of course I gotta go with my Undertaker, but let's let's bring let's really bring the Undertaker from '98 back into that form. I need him in my lineup too. I need him to be that dark, not giving a shit. That threw Mick Foley off the top of the cell to the table. Chose him and threw me. Uh, chose him through the cell. I need that Undertaker. I need the viciousness to be able to come out and be like, no holes barred. Even even if I got to take out your whole damn squad. Uh, who? Uh, that was what three? Uh, That's four. You need the high five. That really was four. So Austin, Kurt, well, Austin, Kurt, Cesaro, Undertaker. <sighs> it don't really have to be a hot flower, mm. man. It could be somebody. Oh. Ding, ding, ding. What the motherfucker's name? <laughs> Maybe he's in here somewhere. Hold up. Ah, uh, ta 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 Okay, fine. I won't even do a high flight. I'll do a CrossFit person. Seth Rollins. Okay? Give me the give me the architect where he turned to, to the to the whole damn authority. Okay? That's my five. Okay, so I'll go with mine. Mine, I'd have to take uh, as my captain. Um, I would do the same as Black and take the Steve Austin. Then I would go with number two, which is Bret Hart. The one, the Bret Hart before uh, leading into the whole screw job. So then I would have him. Then I would have. Benoit, the, um, I forget what year it was, when he had his classic battle with Brock Lesnar, that Benoit. Then I would go with the 1995-96 thing, before he went black and white. Oh, it's a surfer. Then my last defending guy. Hold on, what was that? Four? I gave uh, you four, right? Three. Yeah, Austin, yeah, four. Bret Hart, Benoit, right? Austin. What was that? Austin, Bret and Hart, Sting. Benoit, and Sting. Okay, so my last one. Vader. Mm. Yes. Now Are we talking WWE? Yeah. Vader or w- WTW Big Man Vader? Yeah. Or is he talking about Vader New Japan? Or even that Vader. I'm talking okay. about the New Japan. Okay. Baby. Okay. I'm talking about the New Japan. Because you got you got the trash talking that leads it off with the the best there is, the best that there was, that ever will be with the technical, right? Then you have Chris Benoit, who's the rabbit Wolverine, who with the speed can jump off the ropes, along with Sting, who can do that with the splash. And then you got Vader, who comes with the cleanup and his own moonsault and Vader bomb. So I literally have three partial high flyers. But everybody's a ground and pound type of guy. You're really going to have to fuck this up for real bad. <laughs> like, sorry. Now, my team, no disrespect, we, we whipping ass. We ain't taking no else, bro. That's, that's a hard pill to swallow. But I like it. Though. I don't know what else it is. Now, this this would be lovely. That's beautiful. Hmm. Who would you see? All Who right. would you love to see in the match, though? though? That's the question. Uh, 
Are you talking to us? Who would you see? I said, who are you talking to? Me or or whoever that answers? No, everybody. Who would you who would you love to see in the match? Oh, the fa- the fancy booking. Yeah. Ooh. Wait, wait. Any matches, right? Or just any match. Any Ooh. match you can between any wrestler from the time you became a fan up until now. If there was two matches that you could see and watch on repeat and it changed every single time and be better than it was last time. Cesaro versus yes. Chris Benoit. <laughs> yes. You said who? Cesaro versus Chris Benoit would have made me jump out of my seat. I could have got different winners each and every bout. They would have got a handshake. They would have got standing ovations. It would have made me want to really take my career in wrestling serious. But oh my god, if I could do what these motherfuckers just did, and yo was saying but better, but in my own style and to compliments them, imagine me doing my dream match with them. So that's my answer. Okay, so that's one out of two. We're the second one. Wait, how to give two choices? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Huh. Hmm. Yeah, you think, bro. I want to hear everybody's opinion, bro. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's see. Man, I said I really wanted to see if I could actually do the comparison to the two. Oh, then of course, Kurt Angle versus Bret Hart. Because that's been that 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 actually could have happened on many occasions after two thousand and five, but it didn't. Bro, are you smoking on that gas? Because you kind of spot on. Today. Actually, my last blizz was at, actually like 45 minutes ago, so no. Because you kind of spot on. You kind of hitting some, some good nails. This is some stuff that I've been thinking about since I was a kid. This is what the question that you asked. So I answered it. <laughs> some stuff, and then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is why, like I said, I'm more of a Paul Heyman guy. I like the workers. I don't like the superstars of wrestling. I like the people that's going to be like, Yo, every time when I come to this event, I'm going to get a great match out of this guy right here that I can't pay my hard on money to come and see. Not the superstar, the wrestler that I am heavily influenced and buy his t-shirt before the main star's t-shirt. I'll say it right now. Okada versus Seth Rollins. Right. Ooh. Okay. You, you got something? No, I didn't. No, I think I just busted a nut. Just I me, mean, just hearing that. That that has been my dream no, match no, since shit, before Seth Rollins got into NXT. Before it was NXT, that has been that has been my dream match right there. Oh, wow. If nothing was holding them back, those two right there would be the ones that would put on probably one of the best shows. Hmm. Mm. All, right. All right, Mars will have to be well. This one is attacking triple threat match. Usos. No, like the tag team specialist match. If I ever smelt one, <laughs> and the Lucha Bro. That's crazy. That's your first one. Yeah. Yes, I, Usos I, versus Grud Dusty versus. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You my run. second one. Uh, Yeti, what was okay. One? My second yeah. one would have to be coming from New Japan. Okay. It would have to be Kenta versus. Um, God, I, the name just slipped my mind. God dang it. Um. Damn it. I drew a blank on it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This can actually happen. I would like to see Kenta and, uh, well, actually, did they fight each other in the WWE? No, no, no. Kenta versus uh, TJP. Is he a punk? Huh. I don't think they I don't think, the I don't think they've done that. 
And no. if they did, probably we'll have to look because at two or five. I don't remember, remember it happening, but the way that Ken, that uh, Kenta is now, no. and the way that TJP is, they would put. I think they would burn the house down if they had full control and they had twenty minutes. I think we'll go over 20 minutes. Okay. Or you never know, it can go for a half an hour and be like the most underrated uh, match of the of, the, of whatever card I that they put it on. It that's going to be stand out. Three way: Kenta, uh, TJP, and Ray Phoenix Jr. God damn boy! No, sorry, Wait, Ray, Ray Phoenix. Ray I'm Phoenix. sorry, I'm tripping. I'm like, yeah, they said, like, wait, hold on, like, are we seeing some stunt double in, in AEW with the son just now? No, nah, son just now no, for no, the no, father? Because no, no. <laughs> I would have been like, damn, I don't wonder why the heat the father lost like, like, how so many damn times. <laughs> like, dude, like, he is not fucking human. <laughs> okay. Dude, what was your second one? Eminem, wait, hold on. I got one for him. Eminem versus MCK. Ha <laughs> ha! That's okay. That's terrible. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I know Damn that he hates that heart. one. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Which me? Is it my? What? You know what? <laughs> this one will have to be. Uh, UG um, versus Worth the Clown. A money in the bank. No! I'm trying to help him out. <laughs> I want this. A money in the bank contract match with these superstars. And I don't care. Give me Seth Rollins. Give me Prince Puma. If y'all know who Prince man, Puma know. is, Lucha I agree with everybody. Give, give me, give me Kill Shot. If y'all know that, if y'all know Kill Shot is, that's Isaiah or Scott. Um, give me John Morrison, Brian Cage, this one's kind of tough, Penta, and for the last one. Has to be Imperium. Imperium? No. Oh, Mysterio. No, Mysterio. Okay. Like, there was another one, but it's thinking about like Hale Bryan versus Pete Dunn. Right. Like, I don't know. That never will happen. Dude, Pete, Pete, no, Pete Dunn know. versus Ija, uh, Ija Druganoff. The same person who faced on Walter. Those two can go out like those two can go out like dogs. Ooh, ooh, I can see that. Now it's about Pete Dunn. I know, but I'm saying like substitute Daniel for Ija Dragunov. The same dude who fought mm. Walter in that okay. in that brutalizing championship match. Uh, um, me like a month and a half ago. That one, that match, I still can't stop thinking about that because I'm like, bro, this is why Walter is not in NXT currently, but Imperium is there. So bring the leader I... there. That could revolution on NXT right now. People won't want to see Walter beat the living shit out of people. I can tell you this. NXT I just title. had another one pop in my head. Total polar opposites of each other. Walter and Pentagon. Oh. Oh my god. 
It's like David versus Goliath. Like, can you yeah. imagine how good of a match that would be, though? I mean, it could, but what about Ray Phoenix? And, well, but what about you replace him with Ray Phoenix instead? Yeah, That's a that real David be. and Goliath. And then Ray Phoenix can try to do the most craziest maneuvers to try to get that man down. Dude, right now I'm missing Lucha Underground, man. I'm not even playing. <laughs> yo. Yo, yo, Big Mike. Yo, yo, yo. Um, you know, I was thinking yours. about it. Give me uh, Prime Shawn Michaels versus New Japan AJ Styles. Ooh. I would love that match. Ooh. Ooh. That, and give them like 30 minutes? No, give or... them 60. 60? I don't care. Take my money. Take my money now. And this is... And then, and then I would... That's that's pretty early. That's pretty early. The pay per view and waiting patiently for that. And then that's like, yo, I'm paying my money like now. That's like a pre rehab, Sean. Right now. (laughs) Yep. He has that cocky, arrogant son of a bitch look on his face. And oh my. But he was best in the world. He was. And then my other one. Is really just to get y'all reaction because I feel like this could be funny. Give me WrestleMania. Give me, I don't know which wrestle, I think it was six that he took the title from Hogan. Give me that Ultimate Warrior versus Goldberg WCW. Oh, oh, what kind of booking are you thinking? That would be the craziest, stupidest match you've ever seen in your life. (laughs) I could see Goldberg getting pissed off because he can't pin Ultimate Warrior after a jackhammer. Listen, and I can see Ultimate Warrior could just be like, just follow me to the universe, kid. (laughs) Oh, my God. No one is selling. Like, they're really going to have to fight to win the match. Right, oh, right. <laughs> they bring that real legitimacy, right? right? You, know, you got two. Listen, you got two stiff bodybuilders in a ring. What you expect was probably about that. Happen at you know what the crazy thing? Is? I feel like Goldberg would be willing to do the job for Warrior than Warrior would for Goldberg. Oh my God. And I think Goldberg no, I think the key question would be who will be a story in the book of the most to try to get it their way? <laughs> right. That's the only thing that I'm thinking of. I might know who's going to be a story in the booker for X and my money. But no, you need to put me the fuck over. Now, that shit would be priceless. I, I would pay to see that also because that would be priceless. Because you want to talk about a match where you don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's gonna go down with them two. Listen, I'll probably be looking at them like, my God, we we might do a double count on then Yeah, I might I might just make a run for it. Because I mean, yeah, I, I that the, it's endless. But the but you got my my brain going with the tag team joint. I would do. I would love to see. Usos and the Legion of Doom. I feel like that's a good contrast and that could work. Who I would love to see. That would be good too. Because the Usos are so versatile. They can do anything. Like I could put Right. Now, if you was a Legion of Doom, I'd like to see the Legion of Doom go against the tag team of uh, like uh, Brody Lee and uh, Roman, just because of the size, the agility, the power, the strength on 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 all fours. That would be fun too to see it, because uh, Brody they technical enough to to carry that. No. Match. 
Now, I have a match that might shake your head a little bit, but it also gets your wheels turning. I would love to see The Fiend, right? Go against Cactus Jack when he had a feud with Terry Funk. Hmm. Okay. No DQ. Yeah. I can see that. No DQ, but the win has to be in the ring. I can definitely see that. No, no ball. The amount of pain that they will put each other through. I think not only would 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 have changed the game, but I think it would have turned wrestling into mature audiences only because uh, there have been a lot of uh, fake bloodshed. Or what about the Heart Foundation on. versus God? Hmm. Um, Mm-hmm. How many was in the Heart Foundation? Well, the five, right? the main two oh, cool. that were the tag team that was won the tag team championship. It was um, it was Owen. Yeah, so those two against God. Now. My cat, there are a few that I would have in that if I had a triple threat, as you know, I wouldn't even do a triple threat. If I was doing a a uh, ladder match for the tag team title, I would have Legion of Doom. I would have the Steiner Brothers. I would have Harlem Heat. I would have the tag team of Sandman and Rob Van Dam. I would have the Usos. And believe it or not, I would have... Damn, that's a lot of people in one ring, man. Holy crap. A lot of people. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. If you think about it, bro, it'd be so much carnage. Like, you would have to kind of space it out to where you would have room. So, I mean, because a lot of people kind of overlooked how strong and good the Steiner Brothers really were. Like, they were fucking up a lot of people. Like, like, I couldn't wait to see those moves and suplexes. People going through tables. Clotheslines off the top ropes and shit like that. Can you imagine uh-huh. if they were allowed to use it back then? It makes you feel alive again, huh? <laughs> Where oh, God, God, that was so <laughs> cool. <laughs> that David Arquette movie? That's my I favorite. didn't even watch it, and it, 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 I heard bad reviews from friends, so that's why I didn't go see it. They got it, I did it. Bro, it, 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 as a wrestling fan or someone who, who watches movies, it's a shitty movie. But as a wrestling fan, you laugh at it because you kind of see some of the shit that you would do as a fan if you had that opportunity. But it's like, what are the odds of that shit really happening? So it's like a cheesy fucking flip, but there's a lot of puns in it that you'd be like, wow, but you'll laugh your ass off because as a wrestling fan, you get it. You know what I'm saying? So... The the, the the part that I, la- I I laugh at the most is just the father because he's this gun ho state trooper or whatever who wants his son to be a cop because everybody in the family's a cop and 
and he wants to be. Or a every, or and I'm about to say a being worth it. Every see everybody want to be a nigga. Every, every, every everybody want to be a nigga, but don't want to be a nigga. Right. Shout out to Earth so Gang. Like, <laughs> so it's like it, it just kind of it's a, it's a, I like it, bro. I think it's funny. <laughs> Uh, all right, no bull. Sorry, sorry to cut y'all off, but let me ask y'all. Let me ask y'all. No, no, Sona, it's just weak. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like. All right, we all wrestling fans. Now, who will we consider our? I thought we did our mouth. Did Rush we do it already? Did we do that already? Buddy? I think we did this right. No, we didn't. No, no, nah, we asked wrestlers, but we never asked ourselves who we put on our on our mouth. All right, I'm back. What are you talking? What are you talking about? Uh, what, what? was talking about? Oh, okay, yeah, Duke's was trying to bring up some Mount Rushmore wrestlers for each person, but I think we've done that already. So I tell you too short. I think we tried to backtrack this to see uh-huh. if we actually did it or not. No, nah, we didn't do that. Questions about all-time favorites for Survivor. No, you, no, you talk about today's episode. I'm talking about like we done what he asked already, like already really on another episode that. before that. No, no, it was always I asked. I always asked the wrestlers, but we oh. never asked each uh. other. Like who, who is our? Mount Rushmore of wrestling. Like we all have our different types. Like what? Like mine could be like Mount Rushmore tag team. Y'all could y'all could have like Mount Rushmore divas. Yeah, Dude, man. At this rate, this is gonna make me want to fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, people do still got to work tomorrow. Well, I don't know, it's just hit them golden arches, lift weights, smoke weed, and do my music. And I say, and then, don't you know, no. Good. <laughs> <laughs> don't you know, no good. <laughs> I listen. I'm going to say this, right? And this is going to be my prediction. I give it by summertime, right? We'll be at 5K, right? So by that time, right, when we get there, I'm gonna um I'm gonna cut somebody the fuck out. You don't know mm-hmm. who it is. It ain't nobody um and it's it's it's, it's nobody in OTTR. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay, sure. Tonight. Right. It's gonna be someone that probably pissed you, you off and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna save this moment. <laughs> Well, it all it all depends. It all depends on from now up until that time when we as we reach five K. Um, it all depends on which brand, um, uh, which company is is gonna get it. Mm. Ooh. So this is a a tirade to whoever company that's diminishing by that time period. Right. Because I just I just. I just so I have satellite, right? And this is a quick little thing that I've been thinking about um, since yesterday. I heard on the radio that New York and New Jersey's mayor are allowing like it's about two thousand people to the stadium. You know, which means that it shows signs of improvement. Now I haven't heard shit about any of that up here in Boston. So you know we're always the last motherfuckers to do anything, which is stupid. Because it's, it's like we have to follow. I'm about to New say, York. yo, why are you coming um, for us, no though? Disrespect to the New Yorkers, the Bostons. No. Because y'all get birth to because y'all get birth to Tony Soprano. How about that, fuckers? <laughs> so it's like it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like people over here who don't know how to be Bostonians. So they try to bring that New York shit over to Boston, and it's cool, but I don't like it. No disrespect. 
But if you're going to be a boss, you need to be a boss going and that's it. You know what I'm saying? So the reason why I said that leading to that statement was since they're starting to, certain states are starting to ease up. And then Sarietta, Sarietta stating that the fact that, you know, eventually Texas is allowed, you know, going full throttle with everything going back to normal. These you hit 5,000, which company is going to really let loose by that time? Which company in your mind, I'm not asking you to give me an answer, I want you to think about it. After everything that we've seen so far throughout this whole year of this whole pandemic, we have made choices in our mind of what to somewhat slightly expect for this coming season and this coming year. And now with shit easing up and then WrestleMania around the corner with actual people coming into the building, even though it's not enough, but at least there'll be people that these people can actually entertain outside of the virtualness and the cardboard. We reach 5,000 by the summertime. What company in your mind do you feel is going to make that dramatic change slash push? And what company do you think is just going to stay where they're at? Now, when I say that, I don't mean that the companies like WWE is going to go bankrupt or AEW is going to go bankrupt, which I mean is who's going to turn it up a notch? And who's just going to just stay? I think right? to the answer of your question, it's probably going to be every other company uh, except for WWE and whatever, and whatever independent that's partnership uh, with them. Because what they're doing with the whole Forbidden Door thing, like you just said, as you know, that time progresses on and overseas ends up being a whole different story to them themselves. Um, that's going to change a lot of the, the guard for not only just like Impact Wrestling and AEW and, um, and many other companies besides WWE that are not on the televised scale, but this is going to help them get TV deals to the point where now you're going to see all these smaller promotions now start to get into some type of syndication. Do you think this is going to make all these other small independent companies um, make deals with these major companies like WWE or New Japan or or or, or AEW just to kind of get their notoriety or to get some of their people, you know, up until the next level? Sort of like treating the minor leagues division of wrestlers within the company. Like, you know how we consider the minor leagues for WWE and NXT. You know, how well you do over there, you get called up and come to one of the big shows, and then that's that. So who would be, you know, come that summertime when, when people start really coming back into the stands, who is going to flourish and who's just going to stand still? As I just said. Uh, as I, I just said. You. So uh, everything that you was basically wanting as, uh, as a real answer, I still stand by my answer. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, I'll say um, AEW is going to they don't go to win more with the with the partnership, but what WWE is doing is probably buy more more the competition of like trying to get more of the wrestlers that are probably free agents out there, so that way no one else will have no control. <clears throat> I'm getting. No. So what right? about the ones we have under contract that have? have been sitting out because there's nothing for them to do. Like I said, this I think that is real reason I think that's probably one of the reasons why this man got to deal with Peacock. It's cause that way he could probably buy more wrestlers and have them on contract so that they won't go to AEW. They won't go to it, they won't so go basically to impact, they won't they're, go to the, they're monopolizing the independent, the independent um Independent contractors, independent wrestlers, 
two contracts and basically keep them as slaves. Yeah. And this is where people like me come into play that and way, say you're right, but at the same time, people's not gonna go over there just for the money. And I keep and I, and I keep trying to tell y'all this. Some people actually turn turn down money from WWE to not go over there because they see what the hell that 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 they're doing and who's running the show over there. They're basically keeping their fingers crossed that the old man dies. Sorry, Vince. But until that happens, good luck trying. But the only, but the only reason why some of them agree money. to it is just because money. of the name. The name money it also th- they take away also, their name, they take right. away their freedom, they're that making too. them go on the they, I mean now they're gonna be on the road 250, 300 days out of a year. So if you think about for that pretense, when the world opens back up again, it's gonna go right back to the fuck that it was. And then now they're gonna be making their downside be- contracts by having to go to these live events and televised tapings. This is how wrestling and WWE uh, works. Uh, Only way for you to make your money is if you guys show up to these live events. Why do you think they try to stop all this third party um nerd this whole third party stuff like that? Because obviously they're not making that much money only doing one show. Right. Plus you also I've, understand that I've, wrestlers, these wrestlers have been accustomed to this whole staying in one spot for a year. For almost a year. So now with that being said, you got people who have to now kind of get their old schedule back in. Which back. is? You know what I'm saying? Some No, but I'm just saying, some wrestlers who've been sitting out the press. So when this starts to come to and the floodgates open, it's like who's really going to get that push? Where, where, what's going to happen to the guys that really kept the show going, even though we know who it is, but now it's like, are they still going to get that push of these guys that have been sitting by waiting or going to now come in because they're fresh? They haven't really, you know, they heal from their bumps and bruises or minor injuries or little setbacks, and they're coming in here 100% with a clear mind and a clear head ready to work and hungry, waiting for the next motherfucker that slips and fall to come right in and pick up the pieces. That slave mentality is absolutely correct. And that's why I said once we hit 5K, rant is going to be crucial. And it's going to be brutal. And I'm not going to say the bad words, but I am going to say this, and I am going to give full warning. Kids, please block your ears. It ain't going to be pretty. Okay? It ain't going to be vulgar either. But, man, what I got to say, you can be like, well, Uncle Pat, you ripped them motherfuckers a new asshole. No, I'm going to shred you bitches. And I'm going to let it be known. And I'm keeping my eye on every fucking thing. Every little knick-knack, tic-tac, give a dog a bone. I'm on it. Nick, Nat, Patty, Whack. Give a dog I'm out. I'm going to give a little hint, and you're going to feel it. Because when it comes to you, you're be like, yes, I've been waiting. And when that comes, I'm letting you bitches have it. So I gave my pre-warning speech. Well, that was very um, influential at best. <sighs> And it's real. Like, I'll point this. Everything that we all been saying right now is really the truth of, of what we're going to see, what's going to happen. It's, it's sad to say. I got money that my cousin over here, Uncle Fat, was on the spike or tear. That was he is an asshole. We all know they are, bro, but this is, I, that all depends on how they go from here on out. This is not going to last that long. Like we gotta look at what's but, in front of us right now. You got you got places that are that are used to eat, okay? That's 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 known for being in the history books for heat scorches, Texas, Arizona, Louisiana, Florida. And you mean to tell me that Texas of all states 
gets hit with a snowstorm during a pandemic. Bro, if this ain't if that ain't some crazy shit, bro, if that ain't no eye opening shit right there, I don't know what kind of planet you living in. I don't know where your mind's at, but y'all better wake the fuck up. Cause I'm telling you right now, shit's about to get real. And I feel it. One of these companies is about to do some real, real, real serious shit. And it's going to change. It's going to change. And when it does, I'm coming. Listen, this is like... Listen, you make it sound like to, like Tyler Hodge is gonna come overseas. He's gonna come right on the come around the WWE soil. I'm like, oh my god, we got the biggest star in in New Japan history on WWE programming. And Kenny Omega is probably shitting in his underwear. Like, what the fuck is this motherfucker doing? Hey, you never know. Money talks and bullshit walks. So which means. This big man would have to really swallow his big giant pill and be like, you know what, we got to send our hand to these foreigners and be like, yo, we got to get them over here, get them away for AEW, get them away for any promotion that can try to get them to come sell and make from New Japan for their to, program. Come, to come over to the, to the U.S. For the, for the money, it's going to be Okada. Okada is going to be probably one of the first ones to cross. Yeah, I said he's gonna start with AEW. I mean, is those were those were? I words mean, you're kind of gonna go where your friends are because you know, at some point, and this is just one of those things too that AEW has an advantage over WWE since they got more people that they know and they work with and AEW and Impact Wrestling that they can go deal with them. They trust a enemy of what they're going for right now. I guess all fit and love the war. I guess it's just a fifty. I mean, it's a, it's a fifty loss of power. But you take a look at some of the wrestlers that was in a in WWE that probably will never go back. I'm not even talking about the Moxes. I'm talking about the Sammy Callahan's, the Juice Robinson. And I forget, Sammy was part. Of, Sammy was part of WWE. I know. Am I forget? I know. Juice Robinson was part of WWE. Am I, Several people who like was there the was either released or, or didn't make the cut when they first came in. I understood. Yeah, like, MJF, like mm-hmm. MJF. MJF was security at WWE. He had his little pun as well before he came over. Yep. Luchasaurus. Sean Spears. And a You got a lot of guys who. Mm-hmm. Walk through the halls of WWE. Walk through the valley of the shadow. Please, Lord, Sean maybe Spears, get with here's the thing with the him. Oh. They passed up a golden opportunity so, with so. him to make him a star in the WWE that year that he entered number 10 at the Royal Rumble. They, he had so much hype behind him. He had the U- WWE universe behind him. They should have immediately, after he was eliminated, Back on NXT, he should have been in the NXT title picture right when he got done with that because the momentum would have still been behind him. He could have become NXT champion, and he could have done better than what he did on the main roster, I think. Let's take a look at this. Now, I had this. Now, the reason why I'm telling you all this just because I had this conversation at work, and we all said it, and most of my job is mostly wrestling. So things. tell your boys so to listen to the podcast. Then. How a about that? About, I already told him. I already told my manager this, and now he want. Now he want to listen to it. Now we all said had a discussion. Is it what happens to the wrestlers that made that that got destroyed? And we all said, had had to talk about. I was like, "Yo, once you're in the main roster and you came for NXT, you're not gonna do shit." The only people has done shit so far recently of a call up is Bianca Belair 
and Street Profits. Other than those, other than that, everything else Dude, I guess I you, sorry you for forgot Priest, about I was sorry Finn for, Balor I was sorry when for, um, he first went up to the main Griffin. roster. He was involved with the uh, Universal title uh, tournament, and he won it, and he won the title from Seth Rollins. The only thing that screwed him over was that it, and his injury. My point this. It was a typical. My point is, now Finn, take away the injury. Uh, Vince McMahon. What was, have he done? Nothing. He he got injured, uh, Finn Balor got injured. He pushed him to the side and didn't think twice about him again. But I could tell you this much: when he comes back to the main roster, all this work he put in in NXT. The way that he was able to improve his character and also implement a watered down version of Prince Devitt, I think that might work in his favor. And you might be looked at differently now. And, uh, well, you better be this. waiting for the old man to die first and Triple H take uh, over that uh, overall uh, chair. Then you'll start seeing stuff like that happen. Well, but I'll put like this. But if I was if I was fit, I would never go back to the main roster. So basically, that just means when. So basically, that just circles. means when his contract does try to expire, right? Then that means what? He's gonna want to leave. If, I'll put this. If I was him, I'll either stay in NXT or leave to go to leave and go back to New Japan. And, and go back to New Japan and just and just retire. Had that like long last retirement match in New Japan because while he's in, while he goes to the main roster, he's gonna get lost. I don't care who you are. When you came up to the main roster, you're gonna probably have a little bit of shine, but yet strength kill. You won't hear nothing. You won't hear nothing for nobody. Take a look at anybody who came from NXT. He's a look. Tell me what they have done. I felt like I felt like for me, the biggest thing that kind of made me look at him as a joke was when he had his match against Bray Wyatt. I didn't like the fact that how one was the fiend, the other one was normal, and then the other one was this one. It, I didn't like that. If you're gonna have both of these guys with multiple or different personalities to let them go at it with the same type of uh, personality. Fiend needs to go against the demon. Period. But why wouldn't you do that? And I, I kind of felt like they snubbed him and made him look like a, a, a glorified like Ant-Man. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I, I lost it. Okay, so, so let me ask this real quick. That, okay, so that, if you're that, saying that, that, that the same people that have come up from NXT that they haven't really <laughs> done anything, are you talking about since NXT was created, or are you talking about just within the last few years? Okay, because I was getting ready to say, if you were going to be talking from the beginning, then you're talking about the Shield. You're talking about uh, last few years. Uh-huh. Sasha and Bailey, you talk about the four horsewomen, oh, no, you talk about no, no, so no. many people. I'm not, no, 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 I'm not talking about, I'm talking about, I'm uh-huh. talking about Finn Balor on Oh, wait a minute, Daniel Bryan, as far as when NXT first came out, a young Daniel Bryan popped on the damn scene. No, but I'm I wasn't saying that, that to I'm you, Uncle Fat, I was saying to Dukes. Oh, I'm, but my, my thing with Finn Balor is, I, I like oh. Finn Balor, but what lost what lost my interest in him was that one specific match. It was like you had the demon go against Bray Wyatt. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you take that type of high quality match and make it a joke? And it was like you're watching this somewhat demon to me ended up looking like a, a glorified mini muscle head with, with, with face paint on going against Bray Wyatt. 
when I knew good and well Bray Wyatt would literally destroy Finn Balor if he wanted to. There was no charisma in that match. Even when Finn Balor tried to power up and do all that head shaking shit, it was not moving. It was like, okay, you lost me. Like to me, the 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 only match that I respect him at was the one where he won the Universal Title. Let's not forget match. the Intercontinental Championship too. The, but then again, he was hey, listen, just, at least he had a longer time run with, his, with, his, with the workers' title than with the universal one that he had to give up the very next day due to injury. And you never really got that that full push or or that full run as an actual top champion. So we can only say one, but not the other. You know what I mean? All right, but. Didn't that happen? But all right, no. Now let me now let me let me let me get back to what y'all was telling me. So you talk about Daniel Bryan, right? We now when first when Daniel Bryan first came up from the NXT rankings, <clears throat> how many years it took him to to become that to the Daniel Bryan Four of the guest movement? Now you, now you also take a look at it. Now, from everybody else that came up, have you ever seen them develop into a into a good a so. decent push? <sighs> now you have some heavy. Now you have heavy hitters. You're making every you're making mostly everybody that came from NFC to a joke. You're making Shayna Baszler to a joke, and she was a yeah, true also an MMA champion, fighter as well. Champion. You made. I had, she actually had a legitimate background behind mm-hmm. it. Yeah, yeah, you make no, her look making, you make her look like a clown. But yeah, somehow you made Ronda Rousey the top prize other than organization within one year. And can we also say this? Racism. Hmm. No, listen, uh, if Shayna and Rousey would have gotten the uh, octagon together, Shayna would have eaten her food for lunch. Period. Hmm. Uh Mm, what? Mm. Can I hear some rebuttals from you? Because I'm pretty damn sure for for someone who lost Sorry. one fight and ready to be quits, that says a lot about your character. Shayna actually never did quit. The, I mean, quit MMA. She actually left to go side with WWE. There's two different facts when it comes to that, but Whoa. nonetheless. If I would got the woman in the fucking octagon, Shayna would have eaten her lunch. But Shayna, but Shayna Baszler always been. It, That's been the point in the wrestling. For That's, the years. That's the she point. That's the point. That's how they bring in Lawrence Taylor to WrestleMania 11 to fight Bam Bam Bigelow. You bring someone outside of our business into our business that but, who can't even fucking do the job. I'm sorry. I know that made. I'm saying, you know what I'm saying like, I know that main event was trash. But the only reason. Mm-hmm. But I'll put it like this. But the only reason why they brought Ronda in is just because of name recognition. And uh, they brought Shayna in because of her wrestling and, and MMA experience. What's the difference? The difference is one has a shade. One is one's two shades but, darker than the other one. But actually, but, uh, but, uh, actually what it is, you have, you have one with the likes of Ronda Rousey that's coming in for the end of the Purposes, but then you got then you got Shayna Baszler, who actually wants to come in and work and actually wrestle. And what does and what what does that tell you? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That was like when Mr. T came in for WrestleMania One, right? And Riley probably had uh, say he had that same theory. You bring it outside into our, into our locker room. I'm eating his lunch. I don't give a fuck what he is. That was the old school way. Now this new school shit. People are sensitive. Oh no, I don't. I don't feel like I would be accepted in the locker room. I'm like, yeah, you did right, bitch. You want it? Fuck you talking about? You're coming into one sport that yeah, that you can have multiple fights 
multiple, excuse me, multiple, multiple matches in one year. But you, as an MMA fan, you, you mean would will we'll probably do one match or two matches within one year because majority of the time you're training. Why do you think Brock Lesnar loves MMA and UFC so damn much? He's perfect in that world. Certain people are more built for I mean for other sports than others. Period. Rogers should have just never just came to WWE because now it's like. When you did that, it's like you let the that forbidden door open, and Dana White is looking at Vince like you. I don't know what the fuck did you deal with, but okay, go ahead. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, I was right. Mm-hmm. Now I hope and pray that she doesn't come back, because I'm like, no, be at home, be a mom, be a be a be a Twitch streamer and shit like that. Do the shit that you love, and maybe because you're rating, because your name recognition, you actually still make money outside of wrestling. Okay. I think she's looking at the whole WWE right now. I'm like, uh, they're not getting my earnings because of this shit, this, that, and the third. Why do I want to come back? After what after where I already spoke to the fans, this shit's fake. And yes, yeah, she said the F word. That's some shit from um, that report from 2020 back in the day for um, to slap her around the world. That bitch would have got slapped in the face by me. Personally, heavy-handed, dominant hand on top of that. Standard question? Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing to you too, bitch. Boom. Yeah, is that fake? You have the pinky ring on? Because I'm pretty sure the punches that you did in that last um, the last fight before you quit, before you left USC to come over here. And then you never went back to even face that bitch in the fucking face. You're more, you're more of a cut than I fucking thought that you were. How about that? Oh, yeah. I don't need to well, take a look at shit, dude. Get, Just make your point, man. I'm tired. No. I'll point this. There's one all reason I can literally say is this. I still want to look with that wish. Of one match. But we know. But it's kind of crazy to sit here and know that. And more importantly, Baszler, dudes, I wouldn't be doing business with anyone that calls Baszler my sport Baszler. fake, and either I'm the one that's busting my ass every fucking day for X amount of damn days, not seeing my thing because I'm traveling, entertaining someone else's kids. So I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, man. Like, don't okay. come and disrespect right, the sport. That, 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 that big motherfucker up there, this man paid you to come here Whoa. and sign you to one year, hey, and you bitch and fucking complain I, about I, one I, event. I don't like... What? Take your okay. L, you know what I'm saying? Take your L okay. like a fucking woman. Go the fuck home, be with your kids, or try to make a kid, whatever that the case is. And you know what I'm saying? Well, if you also, feel like you get the balls to come back and then try to do it again, do it. But until then, Ronda no. Rousey, when she left the UFC, she didn't leave with fights left on her contract. She did not resign. Her last fight was that fight she had against Amanda Nunes. I don't know. That's a good question. So That's- she took a dive. So she took a dive because yeah. she had no fights on her contract, and that was her last fight, and she was holding the belt. She took a dive. Period. There's no way that you're gonna fucking tell me that she could have won and just said, you know, this is my last fight. I'm done. I'm not gonna resign. I vacate. You know, say I vacate the belt. But also look at it like this. She could have done that shit instead, but no. I think she took a dive. I think Vince probably called her like, "Yo, listen, um, we might, so maybe we, you know, said we might want you to come in and work with the Rock and see how you get like a taste and caught the bug, blah blah blah, whatever, and we'll offer you more money." That's it. So take this dive, wrap up business, and get the hell out of there. Well, also, you know, too, Vince McMahon will, I will say, we'll pull some Eric Bischoff shit. Dana White ass. was a boxing promoter. So it would not surprise me one bit if the UFC's rigged. Of course. The same way how I told y'all before that football was rigged. And y'all didn't want to believe me, but yet look what happened at that Super Bowl. Burn. I already told y'all that shit too, but yeah, I told you that it was going to be rigged. I I told y'all that shit. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying, too? First of all, first of all, let me say this. Well, you take that, me. motherfucker, because we, we, we only got 20 yeah. minutes left. <laughs> well, let me, I'm saying it real quick, but let me say this. First of all, okay, it was that team that proved to everybody Man, no joke. in the Super Bowl. Right. I'm on the same Cyber. page as you, Cyber. That's first of all. <laughs> Secondly, after this blizz, man, I'm about to knock out my secondly, damn self. <laughs> no, we can. Uh, secondly, you have to understand like what was missing with their team leadership. Okay, and then third, you, you got someone that's been there before. So I mean, when you got a captain that knows how to lead, the only thing you're supposed to do is follow, and that's exactly what the team did. Okay. I, I get how everybody, some people are upset. They wish he was about the whole Super Bowl shit. But at the end of the day, I wasn't mad at greatness. Game. I was the only. The I think me and Duke were the only two here that actually said that Bray was going to win, and you know, and we won. So I went here by that nonsense that I had to be laughing right. because I'm like, so that means Belichick was wrong. The Belichick the 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 was wrong the whole entire time. <laughs> That's why I was laughing. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. Here's the, here's the one thing that was proven, and then we can end it. It was proven on Super Bowl Sunday that it was Tom Brady, okay, that was the successor behind the Super Bowls. But the master of it all. Listen, order, a head coach who hadn't Brady played a single game himself one. can't tell me shit. That's like someone trying to tell me from an outside enemy who has no idea about wrestling what the fuck I should be doing in the ring. Kiss my ass. No. Hold on, hold on. No. But you can't discredit Belichick because he has two Super Bowls outside As a defensive of coordinator, we keep going. With the pass. Okay, so you become a head coach, right? You're still a coach. Would you become a head coach? And then you pick a QB... That not only helps you, but changes, like, literally changes the game for the next 20 years. Because of his success and his hard work, he makes your system flawless. And that's what it was. When you have someone that believes in your system and works hard and dedicates themselves to it, it trickles I'm down. I'm pretty to sure that himself. happens with everything, and including, you know what I'm saying, including LeBron. We can say we'll be in the same category for him. We can be the same category for MJ. We said that we'll be in the same category for Kobe. Yeah. We don't need to dig too deep involved in this. I'm tired. We're done with this. <laughs> I think there's nothing more I can say about any other former OTTR members that they were only besides two. One person just needs to owe the motherfucker, and the other person can, can just go have a heart attack and go fuck themselves. I still, uh, I still got love for Young Blood, even though I haven't spoken to him. An X amount of time, but I know he's doing well when it comes to his switch and his little media production. So I'm happy for him. I'm happy that he's finding his happiness. So I got no quarrel with my man's over there. But everyone else that came in and left, but excuse me, let me take that back. Except for Josh and then maybe a few other people that was actually pretty good sport. So I gotta give him a pat on the back. But the, uh, but the people that left the derogatory and walked out the door without really saying anything, fuck you. And we move, and we moving on from that. We are done talking about this. All right, that's the end of this uh, after dark. So we're done here. Blackheart, <laughs> Cyber, Big Mike already crashed out. He's passed out on the floor, drunk as a fuck. <laughs> and we got Uncle Fats and um, excuse me, and E Dukes. So until um, next time, folks. I bid y'all, we bid y'all adieu.